Richard Painter is a law professor at the University of Minnesota in the United States. Professor Painter, thank you very much indeed for joining us today. How surprising is it that these charges have been unsealed? And what new have we learned? What really stands out among the charges and about how these documents were handled by Donald Trump? Well, criminal charges ordinarily are unsealed at the time of the filing of the indictment uh, shortly before the arraignment of the accused, which is going to take place next Tuesday. Uh, the uh, charges, though, are quite shocking. Uh, the uh, indictment alleges that Donald Trump intentionally removed uh, many documents, classified documents, uh, from the White House to Mar-a-Lago. Uh, he was not authorized to do so. That in and of itself is a violation of the Espionage Act. And furthermore, uh, the indictment alleges that Donald Trump showed the documents uh, to a reporter and to a, a political supporter who was uh, helping with his PAC, Political Action Committee. Uh, neither of those persons had a security clearance that those are additional uh, violations of the Espionage Act. And then finally, uh, the indictment alleges that Donald Trump intentionally obstructed the investigation uh, by the FBI uh, by the National Archives, the Justice Department, and the efforts to retrieve the documents. So these are serious charges that the former president is confronting, and it's very clear from the special prosecutor's office that no one is above the law. A president, a former president, no one is above the law in the United States, and Donald Trump will have to answer for these charges. Mm -hmm. Very serious charges, and as you say, no one above the law. But how big a test is this for the U.S. justice system, and how likely is it that Donald Trump could face conviction and even jail time? Well, if Donald Trump did what the indictment says he did, he uh, will almost certainly be convicted of multiple felonies. Uh, now, it's the duty of the prosecutor to prove beyond a reasonable doubt uh, that Donald Trump did what the indictment says he did. And that is what will be established at trial before a jury. Uh, and so we're, we're just going to have to wait for the trial to find out how this plays out. And why on earth would a president take so many classified documents out of the White House to his personal property? Is this something that presidents have ever done in the past? Well, presidents have inadvertently removed documents, uh, or their staff have, we, and vice presidents as well. We found that in the case of uh, uh, now President Biden, when he was vice president, his staff has removed documents to his home, and even more troubling to the University of Pennsylvania office in downtown Washington. Uh, and the same with Mike Pence. Uh, uh, the Mike Pence investigation has been closed with no criminal charges. Uh, the investigation of the Biden documents is continuing, but there's no evidence uh, that I've seen that President Biden intentionally removed the documents or obstructed an investigation or showed them to anyone without a security clearance. Uh, so we'll, we'll uh, see how those investigations all play out. But the bottom line is Donald Trump is the only president in U.S. history uh, to have intentionally removed documents, showed them the people, and obstructed an investigation, according to the indictment. And once again, uh, the prosecutors will have to prove those facts true beyond a reasonable doubt in order to convict him. Professor Richard Painter from the University of Minnesota, many thanks for your expertise today. Well, thank you.